Well, it is exciting. Hello, hello. It is momentum time. It is momentum time. Hey, it's excited. I am so excited to always try to present some uh, nips and tips uh, along the way to uh, just help you with your leadership skills, help you with entrepreneur skills. And this is some of the elementary stuff that I have learned throughout my life's uh, journey of life that I have, you know, lived. So the exciting thing about it is I just always like to share some things with uh, you all and to the world to make the world a better place to acknowledge that we are having a lot of difficult things and understanding about being in the Christianity world. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times being a Christian, it is very, very complex. Uh, a lot of times they think that Christians shouldn't get involved in politics or being a politician. We shouldn't have any say and get involved in that. We should all be in the realm of spirituality. We should be in the church praying, worshiping God. And the one thing that we have to understand and acknowledge that being a Christian does not put us in a circle. What we are doing is being disciples. And so as Jesus had created disciples, he sent them all out into different worlds. And then he also gave us talents. Some of the things that we was really good and Christians are really good at certain things. But a lot of times because of that, eh, Christians don't supposed to do that, then we, a lot of them don't pursue their talents. And a lot of times we think that we need to be preachers and ministers and uh, different things. And a lot of times you all have skills is <clears throat> being a good business leader or being able to talk about finances to uh, some of us, us can dance, some of us can sing, some of us can do a lot of different things and we can be able to, uh, some of us are janitors, some of us are sores and, and massagers and I mean it goes on and on with so much talents that Christian that God has gave you the creativity in your hands, in your feet, in your ears, in your mouth. Some of us are great speakers. And guess what? We do nothing because we think that we're supposed to be in that circle of just worshiping and hanging in with God. But what if we took to the world and allowed ourselves to be able to use these talents at the same time reflect about adding in some Christianity and some lifestyle to make this world a better place because this world is really a lousy place. Uh, and so in order for us to make it better, then we need to put our foot in, put our two cent in, put our dollar worth in. We need to stand, make a stand, and to be able to take it to the world to understand that we need to open up the horizon of our lives and speak about things that can help other people, to help grow in other people. And don't just sit on your talent. Don't just sit on your talent and do nothing. Don't do nothing. You don't have to always bring in the prayer room. You got to come out that prayer room and so people can know who you are and what you can be able to do. You know, so I'm just encouraging you all just, just to get started. Get started in doing your entrepreneur. Get started or doing your talents that you're really good at. Some of you are really good at a lot of things. I mean, I have walked this journey, rode this journey, and, run, and just jog this journey. And man, this world is a beautiful place. But until we as Christians stand up to explore and to um, lay out some of the talents that we have. I mean, I have seen great farmers. I have seen great jurors. I have seen artists. And a lot of times they sit on their talents because they think that they need to be in the house of worship. And if they say something to the Christian, they're going to say, uh, that's not of God. 
Look, God gave you these talents. Don't just sit on them. And then God take them and, and take your talent away and give it to someone else. Make the most out of it. Help uplift another Christian with your talent. Maybe that uh, Christian that you're speaking to may be able to uh, see that, hey, that person's doing it. Maybe I can do it. You know, so get on board with doing some things for God doing some things for God. We also can uh, do things in the church as well. That is great. I mean, we have, me and my wife, we do lots of things, much stuff that we can do in the church, but we try not to fool ourselves up too much where we burn out, but allow ourselves to be able to spread things out into the world. We need to take this gospel to the world. And what better thing is to take it to the world when you are a Christian and you can show that light and that great fruit and then a the person walking you and say, you must be a Christian because you handle this in a so much in a better way. Now, isn't that great? Now, come on now. Shine your light in the world. Encourage someone that can be doing the same thing you're doing. Somebody needs to hear from you about what they can do and they're scared to do it because uh, nobody else doing it around them so they just don't do it because and they don't know anything they say I can't preach I can't run a Sunday school class I can't do all these things some of these things that tell us we can take and bring in a church I have seen designers people that can do things you can bring them things into the church show the church of doing things and teach other people and other people will come off of their talents and say hey maybe I can do this you know so Thank you for just taking time to listen to me. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day. Remember what I said. Own up to spreading your talents. Own up to just making this world. Keep the momentum going daily. And that's what I'm trying to do. You all have a good day.